Okay, now it's starting because the little blue light is flashing. So, welcome to our live tape recorded class. Everybody's favorite game, say it with me. Clear that fraction. <laughs> so, we have homework tonight to clear fractions. This is also just a great review video. For those of you struggling at home, unable to sleep, saying, how do I clear a fraction? Anybody remember what the first thing you want to do when you clear a fraction is? You make them have one thing. Not the bottom number is yeah, the same. The bottom number is the same, so number. the common denominator. Now, the best thing is to always find the least common denominator. The only reason you want to find the least common denominator is so that the numbers are smaller and you don't have to simplify at the end. But if you're not sure what the least common denominator is, you can always take the two denominators and multiply them together and it will work. Now in this case, four times five is 20. And that is the least common denominator. So I put parentheses around my original equation, and I'm multiplying by 20. It's 20 is equivalent to 20 over 1. Basically what I'm doing here is I'm multiplying my numerators and dividing by the denominator. Okay? But the way this works, I'm going to just, I don't, always do this. If you remember from prior grades you could also simplify this. So that's why I say to kids if you want to ins instead of multiplying and then dividing you can divide and then multiply. Okay? Because this is actually what you're doing here. So 20 times 3 is 36, 60. 60. And 60 divided by 4 is 15. Now, if you didn't know that or you got stuck, this is why I say you could divide and then multiply. 20 divided by 4 is 5, and 5 times 3 is 15. Now, 20 times W is? And if I then divided by the denominator, which is 1, it would still be? 20W. 20 times 2. 40. Divided by 5 is? 40 divided by 5. It's okay. I believe it's 8. If you're not sure, 20 divided by 5 is 4 times 2 is? Eight. Now I have a two-step equation that has no fractions. That's why it's called clearing the fraction. So I could subtract eight from both sides. Fifteen minus eight is seven. Now, next step, I want to like star this. Because I do see students getting confused here. To get rid of this 20W, I'm actually dividing both sides by 20. The reason I'm pointing that is because sometimes when you guys go to divide, you start flipping stuff. It's 7 twentieths equals W. Good evening. Both internet and actual algebra seven period. How's everyone doing today? Good. Good. All right. I'm gonna narrate all of Miss Fox's um, work from problem 31. I hope everyone's ready. And right now we have negative one half plus eight equals five eighths. And um, so you just want to keep going. Yes. Yeah, so we need a common denominator. Yeah, we're gonna need a common denominator between two and eight, and now it can just be eight because two can tie in with eight as well. So we have that right there. And then you're going to want to cl like clear out like kind of like what the parentheses are. So. 
You're talking and oh. I'm doing as you talk. All right. All right. So, so eight times one half. Eight so eight, eight half. times negative one is? Um, <laughs> negative eight, right? Right, and then negative eight divided by two is? Um, negative four. Correct, I just want to change back to what. Okay, then I'm going to do? Um, eight times eight is eight eight. And even if I divided by one, it would be the same thing, right? Yeah. And then? Eight times five is 40, and then eight times eight is 64. Okay, so just be careful. Eight times five is? 40. But then you want to divide that 40 by the eight. Oh, so yeah, it's five. Okay. And you guys will start to probably notice a pattern when your numerator and denominator are the same. They cancel out. Okay, now what do I do? All right. so, so now we have a two-step equation. Mm -hmm. And what you're going to like want to do is you're going to do a plus 4 right there. And then I yeah. So it's going to be 8 equals 9. I'm going to change to red so they can see it better. And then what am I going to do? And then you're going to want to, um, oh yeah, put, yeah, put that on there. You're going to eight. divide each side by 8 because 8 mm -hmm. is the coefficient. Remember, that's a fancy term for the number in and front of the letter. So just make it. A equals 9 over 8. A equals 9 over 8. And that is how it is done, class, on the internet and right now. Remember the name. So, if I keep very good handwriting, may I please write it? No. no. All right. <laughs> is, no. is that a T or a That's a negative T over 7 equals 1 over 15. How okay. Right. So the first thing we're going to want to do is find the common denominator between 15 and 7. Which is and since good. that's a little tricky, because you could just know that it's 105. And how did you come up with 105? Because you can do 15 times 7 get 105. Okay. So the thing I want you to see. We oui, win. Oui. Okay. Now, while we. While we are doing this, I want you to see this is fact families here, right? If 15 times 7 equals 105, then 105 divided by 7 is... 105 divided by 7 is going to be 15. And the reason that that's going to be helpful is because then when you need to multiply here, 105 divided by 7 is going to be what? So I'm going to have negative 15t. Yes. What's going to come over here? OK, so now you got negative 15t. So now what you're going to want to do is um, you're going to want to multiply 105 times 1. And then you're going to divide that by 15 and you're going to get 7. Awesome. Bang, bang. And then what are you going to do? So now you're going to want to, um, there's really nothing to do. Well, you're going to divide. You want the t by itself. Oh yeah, huh? so you can divide by negative 15. Okay, negative 15, and then you're gonna get. I'm just gonna change the color here so they can see better. So you're oh, gonna get t equals seven over negative 15. Okay, so a few things I just want to say about that. Technically, technically, you never have the negative on the bottom. Technically, this is really negative seven over 15 with the negative sign equal with the division sign, right? Mm -hmm. I tend to put the negative side on top. Understand this is the same thing as this, would be, which would be the same thing as this, but we never have our negative sign on the bottom. Question? Why can't you have the negative sign on the bottom? Because when you get later on into algebra, you can't have negatives on the bottom and you'll have to do things to get the negative to the top. What would I use as a common denominator on number 33? Seven. Didn't we finish the last problem? Yes, we did. Because it's the only denominator. Perfect. So. We, we're going to use seven because it's the only denominator. There's only one denominator. That's what we're using. So, 7 times negative 5 is? Or negative 3 negative five. 5. Divided by 7 five. is? 5. Negative. 
7 times y is 7y. 7 times negative 2 is negative 14. What do I do next? Um, you add, add 5 to the You add no. 14 yeah. to yeah. each yeah. side. So you don't want to add 5 to both sides because you end up with yeah. 0 over here. You add 14 to each I started to correct Thank you. Great job. What is negative 5 plus 14? Positive 9. Yes. Positive 9 equals 7y. Then what do I do? You divide both sides by 7. 9 over 7 And guys, even though that answer like looks weird, that's the answer. Don't is my eight. common denominator. Eight. 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 <laughs> eight times n is eight. divided by eight eight. is eight. what's eight times negative one? Eight. And what's negative eight divided by four? Two. Negative eight divided by four is negative. Two. On that one, that's just the answer. That's the answer. Can you guys see that? Is white better? Yeah, white's better. White's better? Some of these, I didn't know if the white gets. It's kind of like 3D. Thank you. Period five. Four. We're going to have to edit after like every problem. Yeah. Okay. So. Problem eight. number 40. The common denominator is 8. Common denominator is 8. Hold on. Does somebody else want a turn? I, hold on. I know they got it. I know you got it. I know you got it. I'm looking more at the middle and the back. Just sure. Do you want it? Okay. I, want to make sure the middle to the back. I'm not going to call on you. I'm not going to force you. But do one of you want a try? I want to give you a chart even though you said you didn't want to be in the video. Go ahead. Okay. Um, so we're just starting from where you left off. So you times 8 by, four, uh, by C. So that's 8C and then you divide it by 4. So 2C. And then times not eight by negative nine is negative seventy two. Negative seventy two, and then you divide it by eight, which goes back to the number negative eight. Not negative nine. And some of you will start to realize when the numerator here and the denominator here are the same, they just cancel out. So now, what would you do? Uh, then you would divide two by both sides. And your answer is C, C equals, equals eight, negative nine, nine over two. And that is the answer. Again, don't give me a mixed number. Do not give me a decimal. Are we clear? Yes. Okay? Because I'm going to say it numerous times, and I'm going to leave this in the recording. If you start giving me decimals or mixed numbers on tests, I'm going to get annoyed, and you're not going to get full credit. I expect you, for the amount of times that I will say it through this chapter in class, to know for the rest of the year, mix up. Uh, oh my gosh, change that. For the rest of the year, improper fractions. I know. Said it wrong. Now you have to edit it. I know. I have to edit after each one. So. What? Okay. So I just got a correction that in the book. It is a negative four ninths. So, what is the common denominator? Nine. Nine, Nine times two is? 
18 divided by 3 is 56. Okay. 9 times R is 9 times negative 4 is negative 36 divided by 9 brings me back to negative 4. Now what do I do? Okay, the reason I'm not going to add 4 is because that's going to give me 0. <laughs> what is negative 4 minus 6? Negative 10. It's negative 10. If I think about this, add a number line. If I'm at negative 4 and I'm subtracting, I'm moving to the left. So you're basically adding them. And then putting a negative sign. Yeah. Okay. So R equals negative 10 over 9. Yes. Do we get this? Yes. 